Nice performance tonight. I'm GM and president of team operations for the Suns. We have the 13th pick in the draft and considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick if you don't mind. Being in the NBA brings a lot of responsibilities and some people just aren't ready for it, if you know what I mean. What are your plans once you get that first paycheck? To be honest, that's something I haven't given much thought. Right now, I'm completely focused on my game and getting drafted in the lottery. Hopefully top five, man, that'd be nice. Interesting, next question. How did you feel about your game tonight? What stood out to you? I felt pretty good. You know, I could have shot the ball a little better. I could have done some things a little better, but all in all, I think I did okay. Some interesting answers. Thanks again for your time. Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the GM of the Heat. We have the 10th pick in the draft and are interested in your talents. We just want to pick your brain a little before we decide. Let's get to it. If you were a GM, where would you draft yourself in this draft? Honestly, I, I don't care about any of that. I want to play for your team, whatever pick it is. To me, it's not about going number one or going in the lottery. I want to go to a team that is a great fit for me, and I definitely think you guys fit that bill for me. Okay, last question. This is a question we ask all our potential draftees, and I want you to answer it as honestly as possible. Where do you see your career going? What do you hope to achieve out of your career? Ultimately, what do you want your legacy to be? Wow. Okay. So, I want my career to go wherever it takes me. As cliche as that sounds. Ultimately, I want to be the best basketball player and best team player I can be. At the end of the day, that's really all I can ever ask out of myself. I want to be remembered as someone who gave 110% every time he set foot on the court. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. Hello, I'm the head scout for the Boston Celtics. We have the 16th pick in this draft, and we're looking at potentially using this pick on you. First, though, we would like to get to know you better by asking you a couple questions. Let's get to it. We had a lot of turnover here in Boston, but are still looking to be a team that can win the title. There is a tremendous amount of pressure to win here for any player, much less a rookie. Do you feel you're prepared to step in and fill the shoes of some of the great players that have left our team in the past months? Oh, I'm definitely that kind of player. I don't want to come into a situation where the franchise is kind of feeling itself out, you, you know. The, the Celtics have a long tradition of winning titles and staying competitive. It comes with pressure, but I thrive in that sort of environment, and I definitely welcome the challenge that playing for the Celtics presents, man. Let's see, one more question, if you don't mind. Playing in Boston comes with a certain level of expectations, as well as responsibility. When you look up at the Raptors and you see Russell, Parrish, McHale, and Bird, you know you have some big shoes to fill. We've had players come in and simply become overwhelmed by everything. I need to know if you can handle the pressure before we go investing millions into you. I can definitely handle the pressure. It's what I've been doing my entire life. Look, living up to the quality of those legends is darn near impossible. But it'd be an absolute honor to follow those legends, and I do my best to represent the green and white. Great answers. I really think you'd fit in great with us. Here's hoping we're able to draft you with our pick. <laughs>